We are sandwiched between Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. A moment ago, here was the scene with the Cowboys emerging from their tunnel. It was loud. It's still loud. We're ready for football as the Cowboys get set to match up with the Carolina Panthers. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he'll wind up with about six, up past the 30 to the 31. Ezekiel Elliott. The a quick carry. burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Flushed out right. And now he's going to use his legs. Five yards on the scramble, and that's enough to pick up the first. Now how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. So from the 36 now, first and 10. And they run the option here on first and 10. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. He's brought down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Pass on target, Prescott to Cooper. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Hartney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep and curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole lot cool. of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. Well, let's see who's faster. Prescott with a throw caught by Lamb. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Oh, moving from his tight end spot there. Do you think that perhaps the play call was for him? A bad false start penalty there. Now second and six. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. And that's going to be incomplete. He was trying to get it to Ezekiel Elliott, and it's third down. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. To the air again, Prescott. He finds his target. It's Schultz. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He gets seven out of it, and he also gets a first. They forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. And again, it's Prescott. A uh, short one going to be taken in here by Schultz. And he's taken down inside the 30. Consecutive catches for him. That good for 11. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far in the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. A first down carry by Elliott. 
And he'll be brought down at about the 25 after a pickup of four. Ezekiel Elliott. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. They'll run with Elliott. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. But we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A Cowboy first down there, Prescott to Gallup. And there was absolutely zero pressure on the quarterback on that play. Third down, and he has all the time in the world to eventually find an open receiver for a first down pickup. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Here we go. Here we go. This is Elliott. And a short pickup there down to about the nine. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. On second and nine, Prescott. And that one was nearly picked. Not sure he was accounting for the free safety. And that brings up third down. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. They're two for two on third down conversions on this drive. This one tough. They need nine yards on third down. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. And that's a touchdown, but hold on. There is a flag down on the field. We'll have to see what this is about. So reverse the celebration. We'll see if they have something else in their bag of tricks. And isn't that always tough to watch when they score and you see the excitement, and then when they realize those points aren't going to count? Can they get it back together and find their way back to the end zone? So following the holding call, what can they do here on third and long? Check back 21. Back 21. Check back 21. <laughs> Prescott from the gun. Steps away to his left. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Pretty solid gain of seven yards that time as he scrambled, but now they face a fourth down. And they had an extra defensive back on the field on that play, and the coverage was excellent. He tried to pull it down and run for it, but they rallied to him and kept him short of a first down. A 29-yard attempt. And Zerline's kick is good. And the Cowboys are going to jump out to a 3-0 lead. So that will go down as a 15-play drive, and it results in three points. So some disappointment? It's funny. We had our conference before the game with the offensive coordinator. What did he tell us? I just want every drive to end in a kick, right? An extra point, a punt, or a field goal. Well, in this case, I think it is a little bit of a disappointment because it did end in a kick, but that type of a drive should end in the end zone. taken about a yard deep and the tackle going to be made right there at the 25 yard line Carolina getting set to take the field this one a little slow to get cooking just a three nothing score line as they begin with a first and ten Bridgewater. 
And his throw is incomplete. By the way, I got to apologize because I just realized for about the last four or five plays, I'm eking over into your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm going to get back over to my spot. Yeah, we're not talking about our on-air commentary. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual yeah, for you. My bad. Normally, you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm going to try to tighten things up here for this next play. Yeah, he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Complete to Ian. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. They face a third and four after that last completion gets him six. From the gun, Bridgewater. And he's got his target. That's more. And he is going to have a Panthers first down. He needed five. He got it barely as it will officially go down as a gain of five yards. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. First down, Bridgewater. Over the middle, open is Thomas. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. To throw is Bridgewater. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 14 yards, good for a Panther first down. One of the feature points of the in route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. Bridgewater getting this complete to McCaffrey. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. They're piecing together a nice drive to start this one. Seems pretty scripted and pretty successful so far. And I think they did it without our help. Because you remember when we sat in with the, in the production meeting with them to talk about this. And hey, you know, you guys can come out of the gate. I know I offered my help with a few plays, and they didn't I, seem to I didn't want offer it. Mine. You, know, you, were, you were the smart one. Whatever they're doing, though, it's working really well. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. After the incompletion, here's second and ten from the 20. Bridgewater again. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions. Third down here in 10, but you're still in field goal range. And that's the thing to keep in mind. They're in field goal range. So now you don't take any unnecessary risks, but you try and find a way to get back to what you were doing earlier in the drive in order to finish this one off. On third down, Bridgewater. He's going to be sacked back in the 23-yard line. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half.
Joey Sly on now for the Panthers. This is a 40-yard attempt from the left hash. 40-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And that will knock things up here late in the first half. So a dozen plays on that drive, CD, but in the end, it yields just the three points. Well, they were able to keep the defense on the field for a long time, but let's be honest about it. That was about as unsatisfying a drive as you're going to get. 12 plays and you only get three points out of it. Not quite the ending they were looking for. Each team with a field goal as the kick is away. And this will make it into the end zone. Pollard elects to keep it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. And we're under a minute to go here. What's been an even first half all tied up? Yeah, still time to make something happen, too. A couple completions, you string them together, could get in the field goal range. Let's see what happens. On first and ten, Prescott able to hit his target, Lamb. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Give him ten yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Prescott now. That is incomplete. Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. You have to be able to catch it as well. And he didn't get that done on that play. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Here's Prescott. And he's got Cooper on the out route. That's complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Boy, the Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Prescott on first down. And he's got Ezekiel Elliott. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. It's a gain of seven, and it'll make it second down. And three at the 36-yard line. Greg Zerline on for the field goal. So we've reached halftime in a low-scoring affair. Just a pair of field goals. 3-3 is our score. As we send John over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports halftime report. Take it away, Coach. And able to get this out to the 25. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. 
on second and nine. Bridgewater, that's to McCaffrey complete. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. And this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult. Anyone playing the linebacker position, when they see a running back out of the backfield widen because he heads towards the flat first, oftentimes you widen too much and overcommit. He cuts up inside, and that's what we saw there. A nice pickup for a first down. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. It appears they found something that's working, and they keep going back to it. I guess you can actually say he has the hot hands now, doesn't he? Yeah, well, it's one thing to hit your guy out of the backfield once, hit him a couple times. Yeah, you're right. Maybe they're on to something. And I think a lot of that is simply if you get it to him in space, more times than not, he's going to get more yardage than you expect out of each play. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. Well, I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs, and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. Now Bridgewater, quick throw out wide to Samuel. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. So they get half of what they needed. It'll be third and six upcoming. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. Here's Bridgewater. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. That was a nice throw out there to the flat, but they defended that pretty well. The hope is to go ahead and put it on him so he can turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage. It just wasn't anywhere to go on that play. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. A 54 yard attempt. And the holder's going to keep it. He's going to try to run for it. They're not going to get it. They try to move the chains with a surprise, but it's a turnover on downs. It would have been a long field goal. The fake doesn't work out, and the Cowboys' defense is going to get them the football back. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 33-yard line. He'll hand it off to Elliott to begin the drive. Not much there. Maybe a couple up to the 35. Ezekiel Elliott. I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move him off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. They go to Elliott again, and he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Third and short yardage, Prescott. Over the middle, complete. That's Elliott. And he will have a Cowboys first down, and he was able to get it by 20, a gain of eight on third and three. First down, Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon, and it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. A first down throw for Prescott. To the right side, he's got Cooper. It's complete. 
And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Cowboy first down. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars, and he came through with a nice catch right there. First down, Prescott. Over the middle, Cooper with it. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. So the penalty yards marched off on the face mask. Here's first and ten. Prescott. He finds his target. It's Schultz. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. They'll throw again. Prescott. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. In the red zone, precision is the watchword. If the throw's a little too early, too late, maybe off a little bit, going to be a good chance at any attempt is going to be a contested one, and that one falls incomplete. The Cowboys on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This will be third and six. Out of the gun, it's Elliott. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. Have to kick this field goal, don't you? No question about it. Look at the clock. Look at the situation. Kick the field goal. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to break our fourth quarter tie. 34-yard attempt. Zerline's kick is up and through. And the Cowboys are going to jump out to a 3-0 lead. Cowboys. We still wait on the first touchdown of the game, but a second field goal now makes it a 6-3 score. Yeah, I know a lot of people would call this the definition of winning ugly. To me, this is gorgeous. I'm a defender, right? I love these kind of games. The tension is high. Who's going to make the play to win it? And right now, that field goal may be the advantage they need. Zerline back out there now to send this one away. Taking it about the one. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. Bridgewater going to lead the Panthers up here, first and 10 at their own 24. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. Escaping the pressure right. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. On that play, as you saw the route start to develop downfield, I got the sense that maybe the run would set up for him, and he took full advantage of it and got a big gain on a busted play. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. From the shotgun, it's Bridgewater. Yeah, a quick throw here, that's complete. Bridgewater, seven yards, the pick up there. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. 
McCaffrey on the counter. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. They'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. Third down. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's good for a Carolina first Bridgewater to Moore. First down now, but that clock rolling. He'll look to throw. Gets this to his running back. It's Christian McCaffrey. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Three yards the game there, second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. To throw again on second down. Bridgewater into the hands of his receiver, Anderson. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. Here's Bridgewater. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Teddy Bridgewater able to hook up with D.J. Moore. And the Panthers are going to jump back in front. And touchdown and congratulations and zero relaxation ahead of them, right? Way too much time on the clock for them to start celebrating. Yeah, part one is done, but now on the sideline, you can already see them scrambling down there. They're getting those defensive guys ready. Yes, you have to get those guys ready, and you also have to talk to your special teams guys. Make sure the kickoff is exactly what you want and cover it well. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And this carries into the end zone. Pollard elects to keep it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. So Dak and the Cowboys down 10-6, a minute 25 to play. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Prescott. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That's good for 28 yards. Now you're right on the edge of field goal range. You've still got time, but get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. And we've reached the one-minute mark in this game. He's back to throw. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. Pardon, you got to like what they're doing right there. Little by little, they're getting closer. Another good pickup. First down now, but that clock rolling. Prescott. Oh, no, he lost the football. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. Hey, 
The fumble on first down. Now here's second down. Prescott to throw. To the left side and complete for Amari Cooper. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. I mean, we've been watching this one right here who gave up because that score, they might want to try and rush back into this stadium. <laughs> yeah. What looks like is going to be the game-deciding score, although a little bit of time left, so you can't count your chickens before they're hatched. Well, they better come back in here and watch this one because you and I, we're not going anywhere. We want to see this one play out. Zerline good with a PAT. So it's now a three-point game here in the closing stages as a field goal now can only tie it. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. From the six. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Carolina offense about ready to go. They can't do much at this point, partner. This one is going to go down in the loss column. You don't make up for what has happened during the game in this sequence here. Maybe you hand it off and let someone run the ball if you, if you so choose. But otherwise, just kneel down, call it a day, and try and prepare going forward. Now Bridgewater. That's going to be caught by Samuel. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. Carolina getting set to take the field. They have a little bit of time left here, but this one not going to go their way. And this is where, in this situation for me, you just go ahead and run out the clock, shake hands, congratulations, and move on. Because now, <laughs> you're not going to make up for what's happened during the game in this last sequence. We'll see what they do here in this last sequence. Open man is Robbie Anderson. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. One last shot now for Bridgewater. He's going to let it fly. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. Panthers. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still... You're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. It's a win for the Cowboys as we sign off and say so long from Arlington.